Well, good afternoon, everybody. Um, so, yeah, how are you all? Right, let's get stuck in then. So today, what I thought I would do is I'm not actually going to show you me making a card. I've, um, I've already made the cards for today because what I really wanted to do was concentrate on how to put these layering dies together. Right, so what I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with the tulips. Now, I apologise for starting with the tulips, but I know a lot of people have asked about them. They are currently out of stock. They will be back in stock, but I'm not quite sure when. So if I put these daisies to one side for now, and we're going to concentrate on the tulips. I might have been doing a little bit of die cutting. Now, the eagle-eyed amongst you will notice that there are some gaps. That's because I've already used those bits. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. So what I thought I would do is I've done three really different shades of yellow so that you can see the effect um, that these that these layering dyes have. Because I really think using a different shade of the same colour um, really makes these pop. There are a couple of ways of putting these together um, glue wise you can use double-sided adhesive sheets so some of these i've put double-sided adhesive on like these ones at the top okay and all i would say is when you're cutting your dies and you're using double-sided adhesive sheets make sure that you run your dies through your machine two or three times I would say that for these particular ones anyway, these that have got more detail on them. It's because of the intricate parts of the die. Now I've deliberately left one in my die to show you what I mean. Okay, so this is this this piece here. All right. Now I've die cut this this morning. I've run it through two or three times. It's just plain card. So I'm just going to peel away the excess card and leave my die cut in the die. Now, you always got spaces where you can push these out like that. And you'll see that it's pushed it out of the main part of the die quite nicely. But what happens, because these pieces here are really, really narrow, what you don't want to do is just pull this bit and end up ripping your top part off your die. So what I would suggest you do is you can either use a pair of very sharp tweezers and um, something with a really thin point on your pokey tool or whatever. So all I do with mine is I slip my pokey tool, whatever, underneath the die in the channel. So in this part of the die, the channel that actually cuts it out. And I'm just putting my tweezers underneath that and lifting it out, running that along the, the channel and lifting it out. Now that was easy. It, it's not difficult, it's just a way of making sure that you don't waste your time cutting them out and then ripping the top off because <laughs> how do I know these things? You may well ask. So that's just a little tip. Don't rush taking them out of the die. So that's how I left mine out. Now putting them together, there is a picture on the front of the box which is actually really quite self-explanatory and there's also a picture on the back that shows you all the different parts so the picture on the back shows you all the little parts and that's why I've laid these out like this so that they are all exactly as they are on this picture here okay the other way around but you know what I mean and I've also done the leaves we'll come to the leaves in a minute so putting them together now as I said there are several ways of putting them together you can use double sided adhesive sheets. So stick that on your card first, then run it through the die cutting machine. And then all you need to do is just flick that ad adhesive back in off there and then you can stick it down onto your card. Now I'm using, as I said, three different shades of yellow, just so that you can see the difference and how how beautiful they look when they're done. You can do them all in one colour if you want. But I don't think they will have the same effect. 
your other option of course is to do them with white card and use your inks make your own colors then you can actually probably get the shades a little bit closer these these are quite different and like i said i did that for a reason so that you could see the different layers okay so if i put this first one together just move these out of the way if i put this first one together obviously i've got double-sided adhesive sheets on this particular one um you can use ordinary glue but when you come to add the finer detail your um wet glue might just squish out from underneath but we'll come to that in a second so when you're lining these up i'd line the top of the the main parts i've lined the top of the flower on each layer rather than the bottom so that you've got no gap and there probably is a slight gap there but it's not going to make any difference don't think it matters if you can see the the base behind what you put in on top don't really think it's going to make that much difference so that's your first layer and then your third layer second layer even three out of three is your fiddly bit I'll just take my adhesive backing off and then pop this on the top okay how easy is that the more you do it the quicker you'll get but i think when you look at the the depth and the detail in that i think you'll agree it does actually look really really lovely so that's one now i'm going to do it the opposite way around i'm going to start with the lighter color and then i'm going to go um really dark and then I'm going to go the middle colour on the top, just so that you can see the difference in what they look like. Now, how different do they look? It's exactly the same flower, exactly the same colours, just in a different order. Um, I think I actually prefer this one. So that was that's easiest because I'm using double sided adhesive sheets so they're they're really sort of easy and i wanted to do a different one because the, the different one is a little bit more detailed and a little bit more difficult than the one i've just showed you so i'm just going to use the same three colors and i'm going to layer this one up like this now i'm using glue on this one now again I'm layering this up and I'm matching the top part of the flower because that's where my shape is. OK, now if you get the top part right, then the bottom part will sit exactly where it's supposed to. Right. So I'm using wet glue on here. And what I'm going to do is I'm only using wet glue on the fatter parts of this die cut. And what I'm going to use on the rest is my quickie glue pen only because these pieces are so narrow that it'd be difficult to get the glue on without it squidging out if you know what i mean so i didn't want to do that now remember with your quickie glue pen the blue is supposed to turn clear before you actually stick it down so then i'm layering this on top now this piece here needs to go across the middle here so what i'm going to do is i'm lining this up with the bottom of the tulip and i'm lining it up so that it is just just on the outside of this piece that i've put on as my second layer so that you can still see that second layer and then while the, the glue is still wet i'm just going to move it across so that it sits in the right place on top of that on top of that second piece that middle piece if you like okay right so although it's fiddly i do think it's worth the effort now i mean i'm looking at this here in my hand and i'm also looking at it on the screen on my ipad and the difference is is just amazing i can't believe it looks so different on the screen so if i just quickly do one of these so that you can see um the difference 
So this one, this and this, different colour, that one. I'm not going to glue this one, I'm just going to stick it down like this so you can see it. Okay, and I think they all, I think they all look beautiful. Um, if I just quickly do the leaf, now I've cut the leaf in three different colours again, just really so that you can see um, what it looks like when it's layered up. So you've got three pieces for the actual leaf. Um, the dye obviously gives you the stalk for the flower as well. So these are the three pieces for the leaf and then the stalk for the flower. Um, so that's two pieces. And then my last piece, which I'm going to go back to the original colour. So I've got three pieces there. I'm just going to... This is ever so quick. This probably won't stick properly because I'm doing it really quick because I want to get to the daisy and line it up. And it is that simple. And then with this bit, I will, for the stem bit of this, I would use my glue pen. I'm not going to use it now because it'll take me too long. But it, this will give you the, the look and I'll show you what it will look like. Okay, so that's your leaf. It might look nothing while you're working with it and while you're sort of messing around, but once you put it onto a card, I think you'll agree that it actually pops, it really just comes to life. Now, I've also used on here Lisa's um, Foiled and Plain Sentiments. I have to say, these stickered sentiments are probably the best that I've ever seen. There are two different sort of groups if you like. One is more sort of birthday family orientated so you've got mom and dad and mummy and daddy and all that sort of thing and congratulations and happy birthday. But the other set um, are more sort of inspirational and you'll get white on black, black on white, you'll get gold on white and silver on white if I can find it silver and white so that's the tulip and my little card and you'll see that I've all I've done is I've used the rectangles and I've just stenciled through the art deco petals stencil on the background that one that's my first card we're going to quickly run through the daisies now I think the daisies are easier than the tulips if I'm honest and again what I would say is when you're running particularly this one through your die cutting machine please run it through more than once because um they they are such intricate um petals that if you don't cut it properly um and and your cardstock will make a difference on that this is american craft cardstock and it's um i think it's 216 gsm i wouldn't go much lower than that because the the thinner your card so if you're going to use paper paper would be really difficult to get out even if you run it through half a dozen times paper will be quite difficult to get out of your die so you need something with a little bit of substance so there are again pictures on the back so you get a base base petal then you get the detail and then you get the little center and you get that for both types and then you get the leaves as well okay so if I just quickly run through how you would do it. So when I'm layering it up, um, match your top petal and then you'll see that all the others will match up. And if you use a wet glue, again, you'll have a little bit of time to just manipulate those so that they actually match where they're supposed to sit. So this one here has got a piece underneath that it will sit on top of. OK, and they do all sit perfectly. This one is my favourite. Um, I don't know why. I just I just think this is lovely. Um, and then you've got a solid shape and then you've got a cut out shape. And again, it's as simple as this one's really easy. Um, just laying it on top. Pop your centre on the top. OK, like that. it's so easy. You could go nice colours like that. 
you could go really funky and do black on white so that you were sort of not doing real flowers if you like you're doing sort of a your take on it you can either do a black center like that or you could go really funky and do a nice pale yellow or even i mean you could do red if you wanted red would look fantastic um, I mean, I've cut this one out of paper just to show you. Now, it is very, very fragile. Um, does that piece not come out there? But I, I don't know whether you can see the difference. This is paper, okay? And this is card. And this is so fragile. I, I'm not sure I would want to use it, if I'm honest, because it's... It's going to rip so easily. I mean, if you're careful, yeah, fine. But ideally, I'd use a, a better weight cardstock. And as I say, this one's 216 GSM. I probably wouldn't go any lower than that, if I was honest. And then you've got the leaves, which again, come in several parts. And again, I've used different colours so that I can show you what they look like. So you've got two different colours there. You can use different colours for the piece on the top and then a different colour again for the veins on the leaves they're so easy I, I love these leaves I use these leaves on different flowers I don't keep them with the the set they came with I use them for all sorts of things or you could use that colour as your base a totally different colour for the leaf part on top go back to the original color so that the bottom part of the leaf and the vein are the same greens and then your sort of shadow is a different sort of green all i'm trying to do is show you how easy they are to put together okay so i'll just quickly show you the card that i made with those dies now you'll see I've also used the Essential Hessian um, background die. So yeah, that's a 7x7 seven seven card. That's 5x7. Seven. So I hope you enjoyed that. I love you and leave you now. And hopefully I'll be back next Monday to do something else. Bye for now.